getting an early start it's like not quite 7 30 um, because we might be crossing the Strait of Juan de Fuca um, which is so we'd be going all the way to Port Townsend which is like 40 miles um, and the Strait can be pretty hairy at times um, with wind and strong currents so we're gonna head down there and kind of see if the wind doesn't seem like it's too bad then we'll probably try to shoot across and we have to time, part of it is you have to time the crossing for slack tide um, on the other side of the strait. Otherwise you can end up in some really strong currents. So we're getting ready to leave now. You ready? It's too early for you. few days has been it's been calm in the morning and then in the afternoon it's been picking up to like near gale like blowing around 30 in the afternoon out of the north which is good because it'd be behind us um, but we have such strong currents here especially with the current tides uh, that we can end up with a wind against current issue so today the forecast was for potentially some stronger afternoon winds, a little weaker than what we've seen. Um, but I checked this morning and they've scaled it back now. So the weather service is saying uh, just under small craft advisory conditions likely this afternoon, so. Which is fine, like even, even small craft advisory is fine unless we have a strong current against it. But we're, we're timing things so that if there's current, we should be moving with it. So we don't have to cross the strait today so that we have, we have alternatives. Yeah. But our AIS is working good. AIS is an automatic identification system. It's a anti, it's a like a collision avoidance system. So basically it uses a VHF signal to send out like, this is me, this is where I am, this is who I am, this is how fast I'm going, this is the direction I'm going. Um, and other, other marine traffic in the area can pick that up. Uh, commercial vessels are required to have it. Uh, smaller personal craft. Uh, pleasure craft are not required to have it, but it's a good thing to have. We had a AIS receiver so we could receive other people's signals, but we couldn't transmit our own. And it wasn't working very well, actually. Uh, but my parents were nice enough to gift us a brand new AIS transceiver, so now we can transmit trans and receive. A transponder. You need this or you lose the game. <gasps> it's, um, it has something to do with transponding. Oh, 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 he's a trans so we can receive and transmit, um, and you can actually track us on several apps. One is Marine Traffic, so you can go to Marine, get the Marine Traffic app, and search via, and we should come up, and you can kind of follow along. As long as our AAS is on, which is not always, it'll, it should pick up a signal and, and tell you where we're at, put, it, put us on the map. So. We are to one hour later. Yeah. Change of plans. Uh, we are in Eagle Harbor on it, Cypress Island. And I guess that was a pretty good example of why this is sometimes a difficult place to sail. We didn't film any of that out there, but it got a little bit got it pretty choppy. It wasn't, yeah, it wasn't, it was less, much less than we saw the no, other day. No, it wasn't, but. it wasn't, it wasn't <clears throat> terrible, but it definitely like went from absolutely nothing to pretty significant. Yeah, so went from like, uh, it was forecast to be like, what, gust to 10? Yeah. And we were seeing sustained... 20s. 20? Yeah. 25? So right now the moon cycle has, the tides are really big, which means the, the tidal currents are really strong. And so we kind of crossed an area with really bad tide rips. Uh, we're sailing along 
And then we kind of had to make a decision to either tuck in here, which is beautiful and protected, or run down the um, channel that has really strong currents in it, which would, would have been fine and was kind of protected from the wind. But we knew we were gonna then pop out into Rosario Strait, though I would have expected to then see the wind pick back up into the 20s. So it was just a matter at that point of like, do we wanna, I don't know, do, how bad do we wanna like just get a little bit farther but at any rate, I mean, given what we were seeing, I don't, it wasn't, didn't seem like it was gonna be a good day for us to continue to cross the Strait of Juan de Fuca, which is um, a much bigger body of water. But you just like, yeah, every time you round a corner here, every time you round an island, it's different. And it's, n <laughs> when's the last time we've seen what they forecast? I don't think once. Like all month, I don't, I don't think. Yeah, the forecasts are reliably unreliable. You can see the tide, like, really moving through here. And we were out there, and that's where it's really spicy. Okay, so we made the executive decision that we're going to pull off the mooring ball here. We've been here for a couple hours, got a little work done, hung out. It's actually kind of nice. Um, but I think we are gonna try to make some way. We're not gonna cross the strait still, but we're gonna get closer to it. So that is where we're headed right now. How's she sailing? The, the current just like just picks you up and it, like yeah it turns, turns you. you and then it goes never mind then it turns you back the other way <laughs> so it's pretty amazing out here there's a breeze but it's completely flat and you know we went through that really aggressive channel it was the same exact channel the same exact passage that we did the other day that was our PR sailing day um, and it was really it's really hairy again and then the rest of the sound here all looks amazing so I think we just figured what is going on where all of these straights kind of converge at that one point and everything just gets like funneled through and there's a lot of pressure especially if the wind is blowing a particular way so anyway it seems like it's just that little pocket you know knock on wood I guess because but this is beautiful out here. We probably could have kept going without, you know, pulling off into Eagle Harbor, but I'm glad we did. I'd rather, you know, err on the side of safety and, and caution, but um, yeah, it's amazing. It's beautiful out here. It's like just lovely. Perfect. This is like, this is unbelievable sailing right now. 10 out of 10. Wind's dying a little bit, but it's still just awesome. So it probably would have been fine if we had just continued. Actually, probably would have been perfect if we had continued, but. But now we know. Watmu Bay is really beautiful though, so. Yeah, I'm excited to yeah. see it. guys I can't I can't stop smiling we just pulled into Watmu Bay a place I've never been Mike has actually been here before on our old little trailer sailor he came out for like a couple nights on his own we are right on the edge of the strait which we intended to cross today but we didn't because it was so hairy up there it turns out it's gorgeous down here and we could have probably done it but 
um, you know, obviously opted not to. So we're going to spend a couple nights here because I've got some work to do. I need the internet. And so we're going to be in this place for a minute and I'm smiling big time right now. And uh, let me show you why. So not only is this place just like epic, like this cliff face behind us, this actually reminds me a lot of Croatia. Not only is this bay epic, but it is so warm in here. It's like, what is it, 65? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 65 is the warmest we've seen since we've lived on a fucking boat and it just makes me so happy. And the sun is out and it just feels warm. And this bay is so shallow. So we're only in like 15 feet and the water is so clear that you can see the anchor, you know, when it's laying, which is kind of a trademark of, you know, like the tropics and really gorgeous places. Um, it's pretty amazing that you can see it here. Anyway, I am officially in my happy place. It's amazing. It's amazing. Let's just stay here, Mike. Oh. I'm gonna paddleboard so hard. <laughs> Penny, are you happy to be done sailing? <laughs> I'm like, I feel like overwhelmed with like, I need to <sighs> such a scarcity mindset when it comes to sunshine and warmth in this place. It's unreal. Like in a moment like this, when we get here, it's like, okay, well we have to, uh, I want to lay out and do nothing, but I also want to paddleboard and I want to go for a walk and I want to, Oh, maybe I want to go swimming. I don't know. Maybe I need to just like work on the deck and maybe I just like, have a drink on the uh, and it's like i need to do it all right now because like the window's closing and it's never coming back again well, the good thing is um you can do all those activities and drink at the same time this is true follow us for more health tips <laughs> <laughs> oh, this cliff is just amazing next time as we enjoy a stretch of perfect weather and make the most of all that our gorgeous anchorage on Lopez Island has to offer. She likes me to do this. Take a poop. Take a poop.